All right, here I am just taking one last final look around at these holes. <laughs> Make sure everything's ready for the inspector to come. We're having our very first inspection. He's supposed to be inspecting our holes and our rebar. Uh, make sure they're all ready for the concrete and uh, he's going to be making sure we have the right setbacks too. I'm a little bit unclear about what they're actually going to be measuring so I really have a I hope they're in the right place. Anyway I'm really nervous it's like I'm taking a test and I didn't exactly know how to study for it. <laughs> I did the best I could though and we'll see what happens. Oh, and it snowed last night, so it's kind of cold and chilly. <laughs> There's part of me that wonders if I'm going to get a phone call that says, hey, it's snowy and wet, I don't want to come out. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, first inspection done, and it was good. I don't know why I have this tendency to stress, <laughs> but I do. And, I mean, he, he's, he was very nice, very kind, and went around. He was actually extremely friendly. <laughs> we had a great conversation. And he looked around, and he noticed that everything looked in order and uh, was fine. Uh, he could tell that I'd done a lot of work to make sure it was right. And that's what he was concerned about. Um, he told me what what I needed to do for the next phase and uh, what he'd be looking for when I need to get him back. And now we can pour cement. Yes! Woo! -hoo! Now let's see if we can get a cement truck up here. Okay guys, so I called the cement company and they assured me that they could get the truck up the hill. So, that's good. And, you know, I talked talked and talked just to make sure it could happen and that they wouldn't have any trouble and they said absolutely 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 so we're gonna go for it we're gonna go for it but this is the deal they have an opening now right now so I ran to the store and I got some wood so I'd have something to run my wheelbarrow on make sure I wasn't in any trouble uh, there's a lot of mud you know and I just got a phone call from my wife. It sounds like they are there, so I'm late. <laughs> We're going to do our best. We have to offload it. We have eight minutes per cubic, well not, yeah, cubic yard. So we have just under an hour to unload seven cubic yards. And um, I don't think it's going to happen. I get charged $2 a minute for every minute over that I take. We're going to go for it, though. I, the way I see it, I'll pay a little extra money if it takes. You know, if I have to pay for an extra hour, I can do that. Um, I'm just so happy that I don't have to mix all of this stuff by hand. You know what I mean? Anyway, you're getting a lot of talking, and I'm sure you don't want to hear me talking this much. So, wish me luck. We'll see what I can do by setting up cameras and stuff, and we'll just go, go, go. I'm excited. Well, I really wonder what it looks like. them to be there waiting for me. It <laughs> looks like they turned around. Oh, here they are. Ivy, Ivy! Ivy, uh-uh. Come on, get in, let's go. Come on.
This guy's a pro. Well, miracle of miracles, the cement truck made it up our long lane. He had to turn around halfway and back in the rest. And oh, how kind he was to make it up there. Didn't even complain. Really, we took it at a dead run and tried to spread it as fast as we could. And so this is the only footage that we have from the actual pour. And as you can see, we're pretty much done at this point. We used a combination of this wheelbarrow and the tractor bucket. <laughs> we used the tractor bucket whenever we could reach a hole, but most of the holes we couldn't get to with the tractor. It took three hours total, so two hours over what we uh, had allotted, but really I still feel it was worth it. And again, it's weird to hear me say this because I'm the master of do it yourself and do it the long hard way, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't have to mix more than 300 bags of cement. <laughs> this time I was very happy for the modern convenience. I can't say this all went off without a hitch though. Um, really it went in quite well. The holes we dug worked perfectly. The trouble was in our rush, or we didn't have the time to smooth every hole well. And I mean Aesthetically, it doesn't matter too much. They're going to be under the house, but we would have liked to have had a better, more consistent, more smooth top to everything. And then a few of them shifted, the rebar shifted in a way that we couldn't straighten it out and we had to fix it in the next phase. But you'll have to see that in the next video. Thanks again for watching another Simple Ground video. I'm going to cut it off here so that I can hopefully upload it from my phone. If you haven't seen part one and part two yet, jump on over and take a look at them. And stay tuned because part four is on its way. I have the beginning footage of it and as soon as we have more materials, we will be filming the last part of it. Until next time, thanks for taking this journey with us on Simple Ground.